And so just uh, find a little comfortable space. Uh oh. Make sure I can read my notes from where I'm at. <laughs> and we'll be on your knees with your butt back onto your heels. And we're going to do some of these twists where you're taking your arm and your chin under your armpit of the other arm <laughs> and then reaching up to the ceiling. Okay. I can't hear you as good as I used to. Oh, sorry. I, I also um, was talking into my armpit. Oh, okay. Maybe it's my volume, too. Let me change it to just that. Okay. I'll make sure my volume and everything is good. And so we'll just do like six to eight of these, just moving and stretching as you feel kind of twisting underneath your armpit there and then reaching up to the ceiling. On this side. And we'll kind of stay down here on the ground in this position with your butt back to your feet, arms, both arms straight out in front, and you're going to reach as far as you can with your arms and then push your chest down to the floor and just take a couple breaths here in this child's pose. Take that breath, we're going to stay in child's pose, and then you're going to pull yourself up, putting some more weight in your hands, pulling your hips up off your butt, and then we'll be in this kind of like hands and knees position. And from here, you're going to take your right arm and reach out, and your left leg and reach back. Nice big stretch. And then we'll place those back on the ground, and then switch to the other side. Left arm, right leg. Nice big stretch and reach. And then we'll place those down and then sit back into child's pose. Nice big stretch. And then pulling yourself back up to hands and knees. Right arm, left leg, reach. Place them back and switch. Left arm, right leg. And then once you place that hand and knee back down, you'll push back into child's pose again. Stretch here, and then opposite arm and leg reach. Reach, opposite, switch sides, and then pushing back to child's pose again. And so we'll just do this a few times at your own pace, going back to child's pose, and then pulling up to hands and knees, reaching with opposite arm and leg, and then switching. And then back to child's pose again. <coughs> and you're just kind of moving through at your own pace. Nice reach, nice stretch, and we'll do it one more time. Or I guess I'll do it one more time if you're at your own place, that's fine too. And I guess it's kind of a trick because we're going to actually continue going back to our child's pose. 
And so we'll kind of meet down here in child's pose with your butt back, arms out in front. And then we're gonna take a pull up, but you're gonna keep going. Keep, you're gonna go to like hands and knees, but then you're gonna tuck your toes under. Keep, re keep pushing yourself forward and pull, squeeze your glutes to pull your hips into the air. And so you'll be in this kind of plank position, but your chest will be like out over in front of your hands. And then we're just gonna lower yourself down to the ground, nice and slowly, or as slow as you can. It's okay to flop at the bottom. And then you'll kind of plant your knees and push up and then hips back to child's pose. Again, yeah, nice, perfect. And so again, kind of hang out here for a second. And then we're gonna pull, using your hands, kind of pulling yourself forward, really, and then tucking your toes under, squeezing your glutes to lift your knees up off the ground, diving forward so you're in this forward leaning plank, and then lowering to the ground, bending your elbows to lower down. And again, it's okay if it's a little flop. And we'll plant your knees and push up and butt back into child's pose. Nice. And so we'll just do this a couple more times through. Doing great. And so after child's pose again, you're gonna plant your hands, pull yourself forward so you'll be hands and knees, and then tucking your toes, squeezing your glutes to raise your knees up, diving your chest forward, and then lowering down. <laughs> nice, it's okay to hang out on the floor for a second. Planting your knees, pushing up and then butt back. Child's pose. We're gonna do two more times. So grabbing the ground with your hands, pulling yourself up, hands and knees, tucking your toes under, squeezing your glutes, knees in the air, diving forward with your chest, forward leaning plank, and then bending your elbows, lowering down. And then taking a breath at the bottom, planting your knees, pushing up, and then butt back to that child's pose. What did I say, two more? So this is the last one. Okay, grabbing the ground with your hands, pulling up hands and knees, tucking your toes under, raising those knees up, chest dives forward, forward leaning plank. <laughs> I know these are hard. Okay, bending your elbows, lowering to the ground. <sighs> Breath here at the bottom, plant your knees, push up. All right, and then we're gonna go back to child's pose again, and we're gonna try one more variation. So kind of relaxing here in child's pose for a second, getting that breath. And then grabbing the ground with your hands, pulling yourself forward, so you're kind of hands and knees. We're gonna tuck your toes under, squeeze your glutes so that your knees come up off the ground. And then from here, we're gonna lift right arm, left leg. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and then you'll do the opposite, kind of like our bird dog before, and then lower to the ground again. And just a try. Yeah, nice. Just a quick little hover is totally fine. Yeah, nice. Perfect. And then lowering to the floor, taking a little breath here, planting your knees again, and pushing up, and then hips back into child's pose. All right, okay, we're just gonna try this two more times. So get that, grab your hands into the ground, pulling yourself up and forward. So you're on your hands and knees. You're gonna tuck those back toes, squeeze your glutes so now you're up in a plank. And then from here, just a little hover, right hand, left leg, and then left hand, right leg, nice. And then lower down to the ground again. Plant your knees, pushing up, and then hips back into child's pose, perfect. Okay, we'll try it one more time. It was already better the second try, that was nice. And so this time maybe you can try hovering that arm and leg a little bit longer, just if you're feeling it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grip the ground with your hands, pulling yourself up and forward. So we're on hands and knees, tucking your toes under, knees up. So we're in this plank. Okay, really plant yourself on the ground and then right hand, left leg, reach. Okay, put it back down. Left hand, right leg, reach. All right, put it back down. And then lower to the ground. Nice and slow, perfect. 
All right, okay, you can go ahead and just hang out here for a second. You can grab a little breath, <laughs> you can shake out your arms. That was really good, nice job, that was hard. And so we're gonna keep hanging out here on the floor really quick. And we're gonna take, one arm is gonna be up over your head and the other arm is gonna be down kind of above your lower back. And then we're just gonna switch places. And so your, your head can actually just be resting with your forehead on the floor. Um, I'm not demonstrating that so that I can talk to you. <laughs> and your arms are just barely sweeping over the ground, just a couple inches. And we'll just kind of switch places, palm up over your head, palm up over your low back. And we'll just switch back and forth a couple times. And now we're going to take both hands up over your head, palms will be up, and then you're going to swoop them both around, palms up, down by your low back. And same thing, we'll just kind of swoop back and forth for a few reps. Just moving when you're ready, at your own pace. Just getting my stopwatch. <laughs> but you could take a little breather. It looks like Hannah is uh, giving you some love over there. She thinks, she thinks you're playing. Oh my gosh, she's pawing your head. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I mean, when you're laying on the floor, you're playing with the dogs, right? That's right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so again, we are going to keep hanging out here um, on the floor with the dogs. <laughs> um, but the next thing you're going to do is we'll be laying on your stomach and you're just going to take your arms and your legs and you're going to rise them up and then place them back down. And we're just going to do 20 seconds, as many as you feel like doing in that time. Alrighty. Ready, set, go. Nice. Three, two, one. We'll take a little break. On the next one, you're gonna raise your feet so your feet are gonna stay in the air. And with your arms, you're gonna kinda reach up and like pull down. Like you're pulling down, I don't know, a garage door or something. <laughs> Ready, set, go. So feet stay up and then reach up and pull down. And you're trying to keep your head neutral your neck relaxed and just use your shoulders and really driving down with your elbows reaching up pulling down three two one rest and then the next one your arms are going to be up and not doing anything and your feet are just going to kick like this all right three two one go so arms up and then feet kick Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're gonna rest ten seconds and we'll do two more rounds of that, starting with the raises while we're laying on our tummy. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, go. And so again, just arms and legs both come up. It, it's okay to do these at any pace. We're just gonna do some for 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, 
rest, and then the next one, your legs are gonna be up, and your arms are gonna be doing that pull down motion. Three, two, one, go. Legs up, reach up, pull down. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. And then the last one, arms will be up and our legs will be kicking. Three, two, one. Go. So arms up, feet kick. And again, try to keep your head neutral. Three, two, one. Rest. And we'll do one more round. Three, two, one. We'll do our raise. Three, two, one. Rest. Legs up. Arms doing a pull down. Three, two, one. Go. Three, two, one, rest. And then the last one will be our flutter kicks. Arms up, feet kicking. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. And maybe even a little child's pose will feel good after doing all that stuff with your back. But you can grab a sip of water if you want. We'll take a short break and grab your, uh, your walking stick or your broom or whatever you're gonna use for your dowel. doing with your item is going to be this um, the walking deadlifts we've done those before where you take like a short step and then keeping your back flat you kind of stick your butt out and hinge forward but now we're gonna do it with your stick and so we'll just go ahead and practice a couple of those just with your walking stick and you can walk as you do these taking a step or you can kind of step back and forth in one place if you'd rather but let's just go ahead and do ten like five per side just kind of warming it up, feeling it out. And remember, you want to keep your shoulder blades down and back. It's really about keeping your back flat more than trying to get low to the ground with your walking stick. It doesn't matter how low it gets, as long as you're keeping your shoulder blades pinned down and back. Yeah, nice. In fact, actually, let's uh, try something. So you're going to take your stick, whatever it is, you're going to hold it with one hand, and you're going to try to hold it up against your back. You'll drop it like flat ways down your back. Yeah, nice. And then you're gonna try to use your other hand to try to get it onto your low back. So it's touching between your shoulder blades and it's touching like your pelvis, almost like between your butt. Okay, and so now trying to keep it there, you're gonna do that staggered stance hinge and try to keep it touching your low back and your shoulder blades as you hinge. Yeah, and again, it doesn't matter how low it's going, and how you're holding it there doesn't matter either. 
The idea is just that you can feel your walking stick touching it between your shoulder blades and also down on your low back as you're doing these. So you're keeping that shoulder and hips connected. Yeah, nice. Again, it's awkward, but it's just kind of that physical cue. So you're really kind of feeling how the, the dowel is staying in contact with your low back and your shoulder blades as you do the movement. And yeah, maybe just do like two more per side with the, with the stick up your butt. <laughs> it does help though having it there. If, yeah, you can really feel how you want your spine to be moving. Okay, that, that's good on those though, good job. <laughs> and so now we're gonna add a movement, so we're gonna not be doing that on your back anymore. We're just gonna pretend, you know, try to remember how that felt while I was there. And you're gonna do your staggered stance, you're gonna do your hinge, and then when you're at the bottom, you're gonna pull your walking stick up to your chest, and then let it go back down again, and then you'll stand. Nice, and so now it's really about maintaining that posture, keeping your back flat, but now while you're like moving your shoulders and pulling that up to your chest, can you still maintain that nice flat back, shoulder blades down and back, hips high. And again, a slight bend in your legs is okay. And you can do these walking or, I'm kind of doing them alternating so I stay in the screen, but you can be walking around if you'd prefer. And really, yes, nice. Really think about keeping those shoulder blades down and back, keeping that back nice and flat all the way through this row, back down and then up to standing. So you'll step, hinge, row to the chest, back down, and then stand. And let's do two more per side. shake it out a little bit and again we're really trying to emphasize today shoulder blades staying down and back so your back is staying nice and flat but that doesn't mean that you're like overarching your back this way right it's flat so you got to keep your rib cage down squeeze your midline but keeping your shoulder blades down and back and so as you're doing that we're going to take your broom or whatever it is and you're going to elbows high just pull it up to your chest so your elbows stay high your wrists stay above yep and we're just going to pull it up and then back down Yes, really good. And the challenge here is not to shrug your shoulders too much. And just staying nice and relaxed. Yeah, good job. Elbows should be above. Yep, really high with your elbows. Let's do five more. Nice. Yep, good job, good job. Okay, last one. Perfect. Okay, so you can kind of relax a little bit. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the, the same kind of high pull. We're gonna put a little bit of speed behind it. So you're gonna pull up fast, and then you're gonna kind of use the momentum that you gain by pulling it fast to let your item keep flying up in the air, and you'll turn your elbows under and push it up overhead as you do so. I'm just trying to move my camera so you can see it a little bit better. And I'll try to make sure I'm not going to hit my garage door <laughs> with my dowel. But so you're going to use this high pull, but again, we're going to do it fast. And then you're going to finish by just punching up over your head. And so the dowel actually stays really close. It almost hit my face because this high pull keeps it close. And then you just finish by punching up overhead because we pulled really high. Yeah, nice. And then you just let it keep going. It should never stop. So right now, this is, it's this, in, but what sh we should try is this. So it never stops. You're using that momentum and it just keeps flying. Nice, yeah, perfect. And you can just turn over and catch up overhead. Nice job, perfect. Okay, let's do five more. High pull, then catch up overhead, perfect. Nice, that's so good.
Nice. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and set the uh, dowel down for the last one. And we're going to take a wide stance. <clears throat> and let's go to the left first. So we're going to take your left foot and like open it up and point it towards like the left wall. And your right toe is also going to kind of scoop that way a little bit. So just a little bit towards the left, maybe uh, 45 degrees. And so your hips are going to be dipping this way. And then you're going to take your right hand up to the sky and your left arm is just going to track down towards that leg. Yes. And again, you're really trying to dip your hips forward and reach that opposite hand up toward the sky. Yeah, for these windmills. I think we've done these a couple times. Nice. And remember, if we're going to the left, my left arm is going down and my right arm is going up. So you're not crossing your body. Yeah, nice, perfect. And let's do like three more on this side and then we'll switch. All right, and so then we'll switch. And so if like the, the computer is forward, we'll switch to the right. And so we'll point that right toe towards the right wall. And the left toe is going to kind of go forward, but maybe 45 degrees towards the right. And then your right hand will come down towards that right foot, keeping your hips high. Yeah. Slightly bending your knees. Yeah. And with your hips, this should feel kind of like the walking dead that we were doing earlier. So you're not like leaning to the side. You're kind of sticking your hips back and dipping forward. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> we'll do three more. These are totally the type of thing where it's like, what is my body doing? <laughs> and we'll shake it out a little bit, but then we'll just go right back to our dowel for those walking deads plus the bent row. So you'll take a step, keeping your back flat, shoulder blades down and back, hinge, pull up to your chest, let it go back down, and then stand. Oh, okay. So we'll step, hinge, pull, let it go back down, and then stand. Yeah. And the whole time, we're keeping those shoulder blades down and back, nice flat back. Soft bend in your knees, hinge, pull, stand. Okay, we'll do eight more, four more per side. Two more per side. I just wanted to emphasize again, it's really not about how low you can get with your item. It's more about how we can keep that nice tight back. So shoulder blades down and back, keeping that nice stable midline, even as you're stepping, hinging, and pulling. That's no, tricky. And then we'll just <laughs> and then we'll just go into our upright rows. Those ones are a little bit easier, less to think about, but just keeping everything nice and tight, midline tight, squeezing the floor, glutes tight, and then elbows high. Yeah, get them as high as you can. Kind of like a scarecrow or something. I don't know why everyone always says this is like a scarecrow position because I guess if you're held over the sticks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, you're right, because I'm just like, aren't they just like straight out? <laughs> All right, let's do five more. Nice. And yeah, even with this lightweight, I'm definitely feeling the bird on my shoulders on these. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go into muscle snatches is what these are called, but that part doesn't necessarily matter, but again, we're just going to do that high pull and then punch straight up overhead. And remember, it doesn't stop in the middle. Yes, it's all about getting a fast pull on it and then just controlling it up over your head. 
Yes, perfect, really good. You're doing really well at like keeping it close to your body too. A lot of times once we start doing these, everyone just starts swinging it around, but that's not really the point. It's really that high pull and then punch. Perfect, nice. Okay, let's do five more. And then we get to set that dowel down and we'll do some more of our windmills. And we're going to try to do six per side. And so again, kind of open up your hips towards one way so we can really hinge. But then you're going to add this kind of T with your arms, kind of like a scarecrow, I don't know. <laughs> and then if we're going to the left, your left arm goes down and your right arm comes up. Yeah. And so again, it's not across your body. Yes, perfect, good job. And then once we've done six here, we'll switch to the other side. Maybe kind of open up your feet that way a little bit, slightly bending your knees, and really just focusing on dipping with your hips. this stuff before we pick up the pace a little bit so uh, making sure you're you're feeling good if you need a sip of water to take a little breather that's fine but if you're still feeling good about your breath then we can just kind of keep moving through these okay and so this first one was those walking deadlift plus the bent row so you'll hinge row back down, then stand. And again, the real focus here is on your posture. So keeping that shoulder blades down, keeping your back flat with your shoulder blades down and back, midline tight, belly back to spine. And really just can you maintain that nice tight midline as we're going through all these planes of motion. <clears throat> I know it's important to check in on the camera and stuff, but really trying to keep your head neutral as much as possible, <laughs> which is hard for me as I'm always trying to look at you. <laughs> but your chin is just kind of staying in the same place, even as you hinge, so you kind of end up looking at the floor, and that's fine. All right, let's do eight more, four more per side. I'm gonna do two more. Nice job. And then we'll go into those upright rows. And so again, here the focus is trying to get your elbows as high as you can. Yeah, and that kind of help practice. This kind of hard on my shoulder. I was gonna say, this is really about getting your shoulders moving, so. If, it's, if your shoulders aren't going that high, it's totally fine. <laughs> but at the same time, like moving them up as high as you can, pain-free, to kind of encourage that range of motion in your shoulders. Uh, but again, don't push it past like any kind of like pain, because <laughs> it is hard on your shoulders. All right, we'll do five more. It's at Kristen's house. Is it a quail? Oh, is that your quail? Uh, no, you know what? There's just so many birds here, like just in the neighborhood, which I'm not complaining about it, but it is funny. Like the birds start to wake me up very early, <laughs> but it's, it's a nice sound to wake up to. Although um, one of, at least one of my quails started crowing. So that's a bummer. They don't crow very loud, but they don't lay eggs if they crow. So 
<laughs> okay, we're ready for the next part. So we're gonna high pull to punch. Yes, nice. But uh, one of my our friends was over here saying hi to our bunnies, and they were like doing a little video of the bunnies, and yeah, all the birds in the neighborhood are just making all these sounds. He's like, oh my god, I sound like I'm in a resort or something. <laughs> Which, it's great to have all the bird sounds, but there are a lot of birds. <laughs> Alright, we'll do five more. Alright, and then those pesky windmills. And we'll do six per side. <laughs> oh, and did you did you notice your star? It is back there. Yes. <laughs> I got I got the uh, old string off at least. I just said it. I was I think I was telling you I was trying to replace some of the bulbs, but it just became too much of a pain. Yeah. So it's uh the project is a third of the way done. <laughs> yeah. Then hopefully next year there'll be the right supply of clear lights. Right. Yeah. I think this Christmas was abnormal. Totally. Yeah. And uh, it's just funny because I got the whole string off of there, but I know it's going to be like twice as hard to put the new string on and get all the zip ties around it and stuff. Yeah, it is a little harder putting it on. Okay, so we're going to pick up the pace a little bit for the next part. We're going to keep playing with our dowel for a couple of the movements. So um, one of them, we're going to kind of stay on the same train. You're going to really think about your back. So shoulder blades down and back. Keep your back flat. You know, imagine... Imagine your, imagine your dowel is in this position so that your shoulder blades and your hips are in that same line. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge forward and we're gonna stay here and just do these rows, keeping your chest down. And so you just kind of pull your toy up to your chest. And again, we're not looking for this. We really wanna see shoulder blades down and back, nice flat back. So you're keeping your shoulders in the same line as your hips. And so that'll be the first movement, and we'll just do 30 seconds. So you'll do some for 30 seconds. If you need to take little breaks, that's fine. And again, like, this shouldn't be too heavy, so it's not necessarily about the weight. It's really just about maintaining that posture of your back in the hinge as you're pulling your toy. And then this, the next thing we're going to do is, okay, we're going to use that same sort of um, energy that we had for the high pulls to go and punch straight up. But this time you're going to keep your arms straight, and you're going to use your hips a little bit, and you're just going to pop it straight out in front. And so you can kind of use your hips, yeah. And it should be really easy. You should be able to do like lots and lots of these, but just trying to keep your posture again, shoulder blades down and back, but we're just kind of moving through all these different planes with your toy, trying to keep your shoulder blades down and back, chest up. And if you're really feeling it and you don't have anything up over your head, you could even get it higher, you know, like swinging it all the way up. <laughs> That's fine too. But again, your arms stay straight and it just goes as high as you're feeling, yeah. As long as you're keeping your shoulder blades down and back and you're not leaning back either because we don't just want to be swinging it like this. But you're kind of standing up fast and just popping it up as high as you're feeling. And so those are the first two movements. And again, just really trying to focus on that. Back staying flat. Then we'll, we'll let go of our dowel for this last two. Okay, and then this is where the windmills were different. Now we're going to bend to the side. So you're just actually doing these side bends, reaching as far as you can to the side. Yeah. Standing penguins, I think is what I've called these before. And so we're pretty comfortable with those. And then the last movement, um, you'll when you set your toy down, it'll be kind of next to you, and we're gonna step over it and then step back. And I kind of like to do a couple steps, so I'm like using my inside foot to step over every time, but really it's up to you. You could just step over, step back, whatever you want. It's up to you. Um, but that'll be the last movement. And so there's not going to be a rest period, but we're going to spend 30 seconds at each station and we'll go for, let's go for four rounds. So it'll take us eight minutes. Okay. Do you want to start?
Yeah? Okay. You look ready. I don't remember what was first, but yes. <laughs> Just remember, back flat. <laughs> All right. Ready, set, oopsie, go. And so, yeah, we're keeping that nice flat back. Yeah. And you're really kind of sticking your butt out and keeping your shoulder blades down and back. Squeezing your tummy so that your back stays really flat as you're moving your toy up and down. Ten more seconds of these. And yeah, the weight's probably not getting heavy, but maybe holding this position is getting tough. Three, two, one. And then we're going to go into those swings. And so you're, again, you're just kind of popping it up as high as you're feeling. Nice. Keeping your back flat. And you should almost kind of get this weightlessness. You kind of maybe even feel like you don't have to quite hold on to it the whole time. That's great. All righty. Three, two, one. We can go ahead and place that down where you'll be able to step over it in a second. And then we'll go into those standing side bends. And so really just bend into the side as far as you can on each side. Kind of reaching for your ankle. I know you're not quite going to get to your ankle, but... <laughs> Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. And now we'll go into our step overs. And again, any way you want to be stepping over your toy is totally fine. I just like to do the double step. I don't know why. <laughs> Ten more seconds. And then we're going to go straight back to our bent over rows. Three, two, one. And we'll do three more rounds. So nice deep hinge. Back stays flat. And you're just rowing that dowel <laughs> up to your chest. Yeah, really reaching back with your hips. And again, try not to strain your neck. You don't have to look up. And keep breathing. Three, two, one. And now we'll go to our swings. And again, just as high as you're feeling. As long as you're not smacking your garage door opener. It's so funny. It's like just out of the screen, but the big like thing that controls the garage door is just hanging right there. Three, two, one. We'll set that down and we'll go into our side bends. That standing penguin. Ten more seconds. to like see my workout room and then they and come play in the garage and stuff and in the workout room they were kind of just, you know exploring the whole house 10 more seconds they found a couple weights in there three two one okay we're back to our bent over row and we're halfway through we'll do two more rounds um but so they kind of end up in my workout room and they're playing around in there and I have my 15 pound kettlebell and my 35 pound kettlebell in there. And they were both just oh. like, they were both just like picking them up. Whoa. I know. Uh, and it was so funny. Five more seconds for the bent rows. Three, two, one. And now we'll go into our swings. Um, Owen just like picked up the 35 pound kettlebell. Whoa, that's about what he weighs. I know. 
know exactly. We're like, okay, just doing a bodyweight deadlift. Probably won't even be sore tomorrow. <laughs> and then he like <laughs> he sets it down and like in his like gruff voice, he's like, let's go to the garage. <laughs> He says here all the time he loves the garage. <laughs> but it's just so funny. All right, three, two, one. We'll go to our side vents. It, it was just so hilarious to me, you know, because he like goes in there, does this like massive deadlift, basically, <laughs> sits it down, and is just like, let's go to the garage, like where all the other weights are and stuff. Like, <laughs> let's start the toddler class. I know, totally. Rory's like, my man, okay, let's go. <laughs> Well, he might join us on Thursdays. <laughs> yeah, that'll be great. Three, two, one. All right, now we'll step over. And I have a BOSU ball in here, and so they thought that was like a trampoline. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, we got lots of fun toys in here. <laughs> and then, and then, like, you know, Scott and Amanda, I'm sure, are more aware of, like, what are actual hazards for them. But, you know, there's, like, barbells hanging off the walls, or I have this, like, sled right here that has, like, an edge on it, and they're, like, jumping around on the BOSU ball, and so, three, two, one, back to the bed row, last set, <laughs> me and Rory are, like, oh, my God, let's move this, move this, move that, and, like, Scott and Amanda are just, like, meh, <laughs> and I was, like, my, my house is too dangerous, they're, like, it's fine. He's just a, always all bruised up. <laughs> yeah. But what, Owen or Emmett? Owen. But he's a busy one. Yeah. He just goes, he has no like filter of like, this might be painful. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one, we'll go to the swings. I think I remember telling you, you know, Emmett was just like asking me about how sharp the chick's claws were and if yeah. the bunny, and if the bunny bites. <laughs> I'm like, it's a chick. It's not going to claw you. <laughs> but Owen's just like, I want to hold the bunny. <laughs> Three, two, one. Side bends. We'll get to rest after this. <laughs> Whoa. Try not to step on your toy. That's why I don't actually put it down on the floor. I pretend it's <laughs> I know I'll probably slow on it right in the back. <laughs> yeah, pretending is good. <laughs> Three, two, one. Done! Yeah, nice job. We did it. Good workout.